Jennifer Sanasi. You're watching News 24 Live. Well, I'm at the second birthday party for the New Church Museum in Cape Town. I'm standing with Carol Duvall from Eat Design. Now, she's collaborated with the museum tonight to make some beautifully delicious art installations. Caro, I can't even begin to explain how beautiful and how delicious each one of these exhibitions are. How long did it take you to make? Oh, thank you, Jen. <laughs> Um, we've worked on this for about a month now mm -hmm. and it's a really, really exciting project because it's um, South Africa's first uh, contemporary art museum and we can really push the boundaries with this because yeah. it's an abstract exhibition so I really went abstract with the installations. Now tell me about the food we're going to be tasting because you and I are going to go to each installation and I actually can't wait to eat the art. Tell me about the food we're going to be eating. Okay, well let's start at the first one. Alright, let's go. All right, well, Cameron Platter is the artist. The first installation looks very eggy. I see these eggshells. I don't know what's inside. There are some straws sticking out. Tell me about this piece. Okay, well, we looked at the Cameron Platter, and to me, I see eggs, I see carrot, I see green. So what we wanted to do was to create a kind of floating, magical installation. And what we have, we've got this green installation with white eggs and inside is a very fresh ginger and carrot essence. Can I taste? Please, please. Does it, does it upset you that people are going to eat your art? No, no, they must eat the art, they must. Mm. <laughs> so it's very fresh. That's delicious and fresh. And you said it's only carrot, ginger and? Carrot, ginger and orange. couldn't resist but eat one. <laughs> I knew people would like to eat this one. Tell me about it while I chew. Well this is a really exciting one because to me the painting looks like caramel and chocolate dripping. So I created a chocolate painting with edible gold and honeycomb and caramels and sugar and chocolate balls and I painted caramel on right at the end just to bring it all together. That sounds beautiful. Now tell me how on earth do you come up with this in your head? And while you do that, I'm going to eat a honeycomb because when you said honeycomb, it just went, pop, I need to eat it. So you tell me and I'm going to eat a honeycomb. <laughs> <laughs> well, to me, I looked at the paintings and I thought, what do they taste like? What do they taste like to me? And kind of that's the slow process um, and that's how it happens and, and out of come. The last one was my favorite because of taste and sweets and chocolate and honeycomb but this is my favorite because of the color and the rock and the rose petals. It's almost very romantic. Why don't you tell me about it? Well this one I think is my favorite painting to look at. It is so beautiful. It's just like the earth. It, it, it says to me earthy, amethyst, rock. It says to me parmesan, figs and pomegranate. So the snack that I did for this is a beetroot crisp or a wisp. And it's parmesan mousse with some um, parma ham, figs, a little bit of rose and some pomegranates. It sounds like every foodie's daydream. I'm going to have a taste, okay? Mmm! I love the pomegranate. We've just walked into a different room and we've walked by four lovely paintings and I see there's only one food installation here. Yeah. Tell us about it. So in this room I used all the uh, works to inspire me and what I did is I used portions of them and I superimposed them onto a little petri dish. And then I took a traditional dish, a dish that everybody knows, a caprese salad and I abstracted it. I um, kind of took all the elements to pieces. So we've got a tomato jelly, we've got a basil essence, we've got a nut soil, we've got beautiful creamy mozzarella, and then I used uh, holy basil seeds as a garnish, which create a very nice um, and interesting texture. Ooh, look, it looks like presents. What are in these boxes? 
Well, that's the surprise that you're going to have to see. Why don't you take a look? Okay, I'm just putting it down. Is this chocolate? My favorite! <laughs> The last installation of the night. There's a beautiful sushi platter here on, on what looks like a mermaid. This is called Olympia mm. and this print on the table is um, by Manet mm -hmm. which is a, a, an artist mm. from a long time ago <laughs> but the Georgina Greatrix over there is what she re is referring to is the Manet. So we put her onto the table and Kenny Kunene style we put some sushi on her. Ooh. <laughs> Are you enjoying it? I am enjoying it. It's nice to be able to eat sushi of a woman without degrading her in any way. Mm -hmm. 